Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and today I'm going to express my outrage for the FDA, for Obamacare, and for the progressive creep towards socialistic medicine that's happening in this country. We had a conversation a few months ago about testosterone and a poorly designed, poorly executed VA study that showed that there may be a slight increased risk in heart attack or stroke in elderly men who have a history of heart disease. We also discussed a what's called cohort study, which is just a review of the medical records of patients that also showed this. Every other study leading up to this has shown cardioprotective or beneficial effects of testosterone. I linked the article below if you want to watch the video I did. Uh, based on this, we all of a sudden started seeing attorney commercials on TV stating that if you had a heart attack and were on testosterone therapy to call the attorney for lots of free money. Uh, the FDA has literally caved under the pressure of the lobbyist groups and public opinion and made a statement about testosterone therapy that it should be reserved only for people with a genetic abnormality like Klinefelter syndrome or some traumatic amputation of the testicles where you were testosterone deficient. And I actually wrote down in red part of their opinion. They said that the FDA has become aware that testosterone is being used extensively in an attempt to relieve symptoms in men who have low testosterone for no apparent reason other than aging which means the FDA is going to tell you how to live your life, that you do not deserve testosterone if you're 55 years old and feel like crap because your testosterone level is low. They know better than you and your physician. This would be exactly the same thing that ha happens if we had a woman come in with menopausal hot flashes and the FDA says you can't have estrogen because your estrogen level is low because you're old. It doesn't make sense. All of the data leading up to these two stupid studies uh, showed beneficial effects. The Europeans had a six-year study. I did a video on this as well. I'll include that link that showed cardioprotective benefits, diabetes protective benefits, blood pressure benefits, cholesterol benefits, weight loss benefits in six years on testosterone therapy, longer than we've been doing it here, and there was no cardiovascular events uh, associated with this. We actually have a medicine for prostate cancer called Lupron that makes your testosterone go to basically zero. This is associated with a 25% risk of heart attack or stroke from low testosterone. Well-established low testosterone causes heart attacks. Uh, the Women's Health Initiative, ironically, was the study that said that estrogen replacement in women causes heart attacks and stroke. Uh, just a couple of days ago, a study came out looking at tamoxifen, which is an estrogen blocker that we use in women with breast cancer, and women on tamoxifen actually have a greater risk of heart attack, uh, reaffirming that estrogen is probably cardioprotective as well, at least the estradiol, the natural estrogen, and lack of estrogen or giving someone testosterone or lack of testosterone affects their cardiovascular risk. Why would the FDA do this? One, public opinion. They've had egg on their face before when they were late in taking a bad drug off of the market. My suspicion is, is that there probably may be a financial reason as well. Testosterone therapy is expensive. It's over $400 a month for Axeron or the on TV commercials. We have more and more people signing up for Obamacare and getting on Medicaid, and eventually this will probably be a socialist uh, health care system paid for by the government. They want to exclude medications that are expensive. So they don't want to pay your $400 testosterone a month bill because you feel better on testosterone replacement. So they're going to make an FDA advisory saying that testosterone should not be used in older men and that skirts the issue and they don't have to pay for it. Uh, as an interesting side note, a few years ago there was a lung cancer drug that was being tested and tried to get approval by the FDA. It allowed you to live about one year longer than conventional lung cancer therapy. It cost about $75,000 more than conventional therapy. The FDA squashed it. They prevented it. They said it'll never come to market because it is not worth $75,000 extra to live one year. I want to make that decision, not the FDA. If I have lung cancer and I want to mortgage my house and I want to spend seventy-five grand to be around one extra year, I should have the right that was taken away because that drug will never make it to market in the United States. 
same rationale, the government is going to be paying for your health care, they're going to be paying for your chemotherapy, and they don't want you to have an option to have a drug that costs $75,000 more than the conventional therapy. So we need to wake up, we need to take back our health care, we need to take back our government, we need to have personal responsibility, we need to have personal decision rights, we don't need a nanny state to tell us we can't drink a 32 ounce pop if we want to drink a 32 ounce pop. It's not your decision, it's mine. Dr. Greg Castello, thanks.